All right, we're out camping this weekend, and what we got is a little project while we're here at the campsite. We're gonna replace the standard door key latch on this camper, and we're gonna put in a new uh, push button code electronic uh, lock set. Uh, we'll put an eye in the sky here of what brand that they bought, and uh, we're gonna, it says you can do this in what, 10 minutes? Mm -hmm. We're gonna see if we can minutes. do it in 10 minutes. So it looks like the bolts, uh, the bolt hole pattern perfectly matches this camper, so it should be, uh, really easy. There's four bolts holding on. <laughs> so far so easy. I'm being an awesome assistant here, holding these bolts. I'll hold this plate if you get the other one. All right, so I'm gonna take this indoor plate off. Does that come right out, or do we have to take off this? Or do you have to take off these? Maybe. I love their instructions. It just says, uh, remove the old unit. <laughs> there it goes. All right, so we got the old unit out and we're gonna install the new unit. The only different thing on this one is it's just got a wire that sticks out. You got to make sure that you tuck the wire in. Hooks through. And then on the receiving end here, you are going to put that plate on. This would be called the jam plate. The uh, the outside piece of this unit had a built-in gasket on it, so that uh, is your weatherproofing. And on the inside, as you can tell, you've got some electronics sticking out that will connect to the uh, the indoor section of this unit. It has the, that, which is where your batteries are on the inside of the camper. Let's go ahead and snap them bad boys together. Now let's see how we. Uh, I think it's just will sit right in there then. Oh, yeah, this one. Line that one up. It also has the manual door locked that is keyed. It'll only go on one way. Oh, there it goes. Popped right in. Drop the bolt that we'll have to find later. <laughs> What's a project if you get yeah. a couple spare bolts laying around?
All right, now the instructions said it's a 10 minute install to remove the old unit and the old plate on the outside, put this new one on it, new plate. I lined up our lock, as you can tell, our lock is working and operational. That took exactly five minutes. Uh, we still have to uh, program the key code for the front with our combination or their combination. And so that's probably the other five minutes. So, uh, so uh, we're gonna get to setting a combination for this. Okay, we got uh, the lock uh, secured to the door. We're gonna go ahead and test fit it. Shut the door, try the lock. It's got a default code. It's locked. Use our default code and unlock. Right. So there we go. Yeah, we I have think. a functioning door. Now we got to just put the code on it we want. If you yeah, it says do not place those keys inside your trailer, yeah, keep them outside somewhere. So either put one underneath the like lock, put one back here in the kitchen head, or yeah. there's, there's a We've got two sets of keys. We'll probably find we don't lock ours a lot. Yeah. And uh, the box also comes with the extra door jam locks. So depending on what type of model door you have, you may have to change out the jams so the door latches will grab. But it comes it comes pre-packaged for the lock itself. One or door two. Yeah, that makes sense. That's pretty cool. All fobs have two lock unlock functions. All remotes have four lock unlock functions. That's all. That is beefier than the old one. Oh, wow. It's beefy. This has a remote. What? It also, that also comes with one remote, and you can also pair multiple locks with the remote that comes with it, and then you can buy more remotes if you need more than one uh, key fob, but it does come with one key fob in the box. Okay. Okay, we're going to uh, program this lock. We're not gonna do it live so that you don't see the combinations. But uh, it uh, literally takes 10 seconds because you only have 10 seconds to do it <laughs> uh, when you're pushing a certain key code. So uh, we're going to do that. And then you also have to uh, uh, synchronize the fob to work with this lock that he had showed earlier. And then uh, we'll be ready to go. So we're going to program this according to the instructions. And we'll be right back. All right, we finally got this all programmed up. All together, it took eight minutes to install and program this and also to sync it with the fob. We got it synced to the fob now. Uh, this has the ability to go to two separate doors, but we don't have two doors, so we did both of the locks and both of the unlocks to this one door so you're not fumbling around to figure out which one you're doing. So uh, when you're online, be sure if this is a model that you would purchase, which we will have a link in the description below for the, uh, for the site to get one of these, make sure you match it to your camper. It also has a right hand and left hand doors. You'll need to know that. So uh, uh, we will put a link down in the description for this product. And uh, we uh, thanks for watching RV Barn Dominium. Hit the like and subscribe button to help us out. And uh, everyone have fun out there camping.